A warm welcome to TVET lecturers. I'm Gyan Krishna from Macmillan, and today I will explain the updates to the farming technology and mechanization N4 curriculum. I will also show you why the DHET approved TVET First Students Book and Lectures Guide are your best choice for the subject. The updated farming technology and mechanization N4 curriculum will be implemented in January 2023. You will need the latest textbooks to teach the correct curriculum and prepare students for exams. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2023, tells you that this is the correct book. Let's review the main changes to the curriculum. The subject name has changed from Maintenance Management Farming to Farming Technology and Mechanization. The syllabus has been revised and updated and many of the learning outcomes have been renumbered. The module structure of the new syllabus is the same as in the old syllabus, but the weightings are now stipulated. In module two, which covers vehicles and implements, the first learning outcome has been simplified because some details on evaluating the relationship between the factors of pressure, heat, expansion, friction, and wear and tear have been removed from the syllabus. Also, the learning outcome on the clutch has been removed from Module 2. In Module 5 on electricity, there is a new learning outcome on transformers. Students are required to describe a transformer and its basic operation and to perform basic transformer calculations. In Module 6, which is on building techniques, the learning outcomes on roof coverings and ceilings have been removed from N4 and will now be covered in N5. The 2023 curriculum has some new requirements for assessment. Written assessment must include the cognitive skills listed in Bloom's taxonomy. These weightings have not changed from the previous curriculum. Lecturers need to plan continuous evaluation using assignments, case studies, class tests, and oral work. Students will need a semester mark of at least 40%, as well as a minimum examination mark of 40% to pass the course. The semester mark and the examination mark will be calculated together in a ratio of 40 is to 60 to obtain the promotion mark, with 40 to the semester and 60 to the exam. The semester mark consists of three components. One written test covering 50% of the syllabus, which is for 70 marks and is one hour long. There is also one practical assignment covering 80% of the practical components of the syllabus. The practical assignment may include some theoretical questions too. This assignment will be for 100 marks, open book, and can take two to three days. The third element of the semester mark is one internal examination, which covers 80% to 100% of the syllabus and includes both theoretical and practical questions. The internal exam is worth 130 marks and is two hours long. The second part of assessment is the external examination, which is written at the end of the semester. It is set, marked, and moderated externally. The external exam consists of one paper covering all six modules, which will be out of 100 marks and will take three hours to complete. You now have a good overview of the new curriculum. I'm now going to tell you about why TVET First, Farming Technology and Mechanization N4, is the best textbook you can use for the subject. The student's book is clear and straightforward, with clear explanations, diagrams, graphs, and photographs, which make it really easy for students to engage with new farming maintenance concepts. Clear photographs and video links help students to identify tools, equipment, and machinery, and show them how to work safely with them. Hands-on activities prepare students to work in the farm environment. Each module ends with a summary which students can use to check their understanding 
when revising for exams. The summative assessments have exam-style questions to prepare students for tests and exams. No good course is complete without a great lecturer's guide. TVET First Farming Technology and Mechanization N4 comes with a comprehensive lecturer's guide, which is packed with teaching support and extra resources. The lecturer's guide includes a six-month suggested teaching plan, a photocopyable lesson plan template, and learning outcomes which are clearly mapped to the student's book content to save you preparation time. It also includes complete solutions to all activities and assessments in the student's book. It also provides useful guidelines for lecturers for supervising practical activities. Last but not least, the lecturer's guide includes a practice exam paper and memorandum, which lecturers can use to help students prepare for exams. Choose the best support available for the Native Farming Management Program. Choose TVET first.